what's up everybody, this is Drino Beats. In this video, we are going to go over how Broke Boys by Drake and 21 Savage was made in FL Studio. All right, as always, credit where it is due. This beat was made by several producers. You got Wheezy, Tay Keith, Jack Uriah, Audio Anthem, Christian Music, and Luke Crowder. All of them did their thing, man. And this was definitely my favorite on the album, especially with the beat switch. All right, anyway, here's another little snippet and we'll get right into it. So this is just part one of the beat. We'll go over part two here in a second. But as far as arrangement, this is your first melody on top. You got your second melody and then the rest here are gonna be all your drums. So as far as the melody goes, uh, I know that there's a debate online whether or not this beat sampled Happy by Kanye. <laughs> I personally don't think it did. I don't really see how it is or any similarities. But again, it's debated online. Krishna Music said it was sampled. Jack Uriah said it wasn't. But even if it was sampled, nobody seems to know what it did sample. So we're just gonna recreate it. We first started off with Nexus playing these notes. These are just some strings. And we're gonna take Purity, some woodwind instruments, and be playing these notes. and both together. Here's the original for comparison. Hey, hop in there, bitch. I think it gives you an idea. But anyway, let's move on to the drums for this section. All right, for the drums, I gotta give a shout out to my boy, Shooter Beats. He sent me a whole pack that was inspired by this Her Loss album. He's got a ton of drum samples in there, and a lot of them are the identical sounds that were used on several tracks in this album. If you guys want it, I'll put a link in the description, but I appreciate all the help. It made this remake a lot easier. We got this one, Clap Global. And for the snare, I layered a few of the snares that were in uh, Shooter Beats' kit. All right, for the hi-hats, use one in his kit, the Boom and Closed Hi-Hat. You got two open hats, the first pattern is this. And your second open hat. Next you have these little bongo drones coming in. You got kind of a subtle kick, big white kick 52. And for the 808, this one I actually got from a filthy kit. This is the 808 Draco. As far as the mixing goes, pretty important. Threw on a soft clipper, boosted a lot of the lower frequencies. And on the master channel, just added another soft clipper and a limiter, because you can hear in the beat it clips just a little bit. All right, everything together. So this first section is just gonna repeat itself, so we'll move on to this one. I'll let that transition. As stated before, I'm not sure if this did sample Happy from Donda, but I'll entertain the idea. So I did take this sample from Happy. Hit this button to dump it into the piano roll. And anyway, here's what I got. So, I mean, it kind of sounds similar. I'm just not entirely sure. Like, let me know what you guys think. I would love to know if you know the actual sample. All right, and just layered that with some purity bells and some really subtle purity strings and everything together. And for comparison. They say you were lonely at the top, but it's gotta be lonely, but um, the only other change in this section is you're gonna take this exact same Wheezy sample we had earlier and just reverse it, be playing this pattern. Okay, so that's it for the first part of the beat. Let's go to the second one. You got basically three pianos going on up top and the rest are gonna be your drums. So for the first piano, you can use Keyscape or whatever. I just use FL keys just cause it's a little faster. I just threw some reverb and delay on it, nothing crazy. All right, next using FL keys as well. These are the notes that play a bit higher.
Lastly, using a piano and Nexus. Again, you can use Keyscape. I think it gives it a similar effect. So definitely use some reverb, some delay, and gave it some wider, and all through together. Let's move on to the drums. Again, these drums are all in Shooter Beats kit. Go check that out. For the snare, uh, took a few of his and just combined them again. Simple two-step pattern, one from his kit, the hi-hat wheezy out of here. So we got the Broke Boys kick. And lastly, for the 808, just use them from his kit, the Broke Boys 808. Just to give the kick a little breathing room, I think they did adjust this end knob a little bit. And with your pianos. All right, guys, I think that does it for this Deconstructed. Thank you for sticking with me till the end, as always. If you like this, if you learned something, you know what to do. Go check out that Shooter Beats drum kit. He really helped me out. Until then, I guess I will catch you all in the next video.